Hello, today we'll look at networking in Windows 10. What we're doing over here, we'll go across platforms and we'll also have a look at basically how to set up our network and we'll also be looking at the different kinds of classes of networks A, B and C. We'll also look at IP config. Okay, to start off with Windows 10, okay, when you click over here on your network icon, okay, it brings up this PC settings window. Okay, within here you'll have your Ethernet, you might have a Wi-Fi, okay, and you'll go throughout the list. Okay, basically over here if a proxy, if you need to connect through a proxy, okay, you can set up a proxy and then you can enter in the IP address and the port, okay, you can click it on and off and then you'd click save, okay. Proxy settings obviously will depend on your own network. You would need to get this from the person who is in charge of your network or if you've set up a proxy yourself, you'll have these details. Okay, for the Wi-Fi, okay, we could do it over here by basically clicking on Manage, and then you get your network flyout, which is like Windows 8. We haven't got a Wi-Fi set up over here, okay, because we're using a virtual machine. We'll just quickly minimize this and show how you would set up a Wi-Fi, okay. For example, over here, this is what the same flyout would come, and then you'd basically choose a Wi-Fi network to connect to, okay. For example, you click on this, and then basically you'd connect automatically and click connect and then it might pop up with the password requirement and then you just type in the password and connect and then within a few seconds you're literally going to be having a Wi-Fi signal which looks like the same signal on your mobile phone okay the four bars okay all right okay back to our Windows 10 box okay over here, once you are connected, you can then basically manage it and you might want to, shall we say, change any settings like the IP address, okay, or your gateway, or the DNS server. How do we set up our network? Okay, basically our IP addresses, we'd right click on this, open network and sharing center, and then we click on our connection. Click on properties. If you are not admin, you would need to type in a password. You get a prompt over there. And Windows 10, Windows 8, Windows Server, all are using IP version 6 and IP version 4. The vast majority, obviously, that are being used in the real world are actually IP version 4 when you're connecting up to your banks, your workplace, etc., etc. You might be using IP version 6, and that's the intention to move towards it soon. Okay, click on properties. Okay, you can set your own IP address. There are three kinds of IP addresses, which are A, B, and C classes. Okay, an IP address starting at 1 all the way up to 127, okay, is an A class. And if you look at the subnet mask, it automatically starts at 255 over there. Okay, you might want to fine tune it. Okay, and if it was a B class, It'd be basically 128. Okay, let's just delete that and show you what happens. It will automatically do it. If we bring a mouse back, there we go. You see, a B class, basically the mask is taking off the first two. Okay, and if it's a C class, it starts at 192 onwards all the way up to the 255. Okay, and if we do that, take a guess what happens next. How many? Get locked off. There we go. The first one, two, three. Okay. If we're in a C class, okay, we are basically only having the opportunity to have 254 networks connected. So other computers connected, other devices connected. Okay. Now within this, let's say our default gateway, which is like the primary router, the next big interconnecting kind of like device that you're going to be connecting to. Okay, now over here it would probably be on the same, so it'll be like one, one, two, five, four. You might have it, okay, generally towards that side, guess for broadcast, you might have it as one itself, and then that would be two, for example, okay, if you're using your DNS servers, okay, Google's DNS is eight, 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 okay. We might be using, for example, 192.1.1. Okay, it could be any IP address basically that you've previously configured, configured, or your office has set up for you. Okay, it's a good idea to always have 
two just in case one stops working okay and then you click OK and then this will be refreshed and you'd be connected to your network if everything's correct okay IP version 6 if we look at the properties for that okay it's an automatic address or you can type in the address is a long one over there okay subnet prefix length default gateway use the following DNS okay in the advanced section you have your DNS settings okay you would have had to have at least one IP address set up before okay your gateway okay version 6 has a lot of things already built in and pre-configured and it's a lot more self-repairing okay let's just quickly look at the properties of their alternative configuration in case you need to set up two of them okay so you would basically have another IP address subnet mask default gateway preferred DNS okay you might have a wind server okay that's slightly older settings but you might have one okay so that's generally how Wi-Fi and your LAN is set up when you set up your IP settings okay if you have to troubleshoot, okay, there are a couple of ways of troubleshooting. One is to basically right click on that and then click troubleshoot problems, okay, and basically what it'll do, it'll create an automatic system where it detects problems. Generally, what it does, it just resets the settings to default and sees if it works, okay. If it doesn't, you might have to manually reconfigure things or you might have to restart your computer etc okay everything's working fine so we're just going to cancel that okay okay we're now going to have a look at the IP config tool and how that works okay basically we can open up Windows PowerShell or we can open up the command prompt by typing in CMD okay and we could use that in this case we have used PowerShell just type in PowerShell and open up and it opens up this window okay IP config what does it do it basically is going to list all our adapters and the IP addresses for them. Okay, that's the physical MAC address. Okay, you have over there, and it gives you the IP4 address. If we have IP version 6 set up, it's going to give you your IP version 6 ID as well. Okay, and it lists the DNS servers, your gateway. Okay, now what we might want to do in some cases is basically knock them all off so we'd be config for slash release so basically you're releasing all the IP addresses of all your connections and now as you can see we don't have our internet connection set up and to get it back we type in renew renew there we go and in a minute it's restored our IP address for the adapter okay okay if we want to see all the IP addresses that we have within our cache okay it's basically IP config and the display DNS and that'll basically show what the IP address is for the site that we have if we need to clear that in case basically we're having some network problems we're getting an older version we might have moved the site to a totally new IP address or so what we will do is just flush like flush and then DNS and that's completely cleared it if we go back and look at it most of our things have been white well all of our things have been white okay now just a final thing we'll have a look at is the ping command okay ping is a useful way of testing to see if we basically can connect to devices and we'll see what's happening for example let's ping Google's DNS server let's see if it works okay we're getting a reply back okay so that's fine connection is working sometimes you'll have a computer on your network that you're unable to connect to and basically by pinging it you'll be able to find out whether you can actually see it Okay, that's the basics for networking for now. Hope it's helped. Thank you.